everybody. I had another video I was going to post today and something happened on the way home. That kind of got my blood pressure up and got my blood boiling and let's just say I wasn't a happy camper in the slightest. So on my way home, I get a call from my wife and she is in bawling state of tears. And I said, what's going on? What happened? And she said, I just got a call from a guy that said he was with the IRS. And before I go any farther, let me tell you, we pay our taxes. We know we pay our taxes. There's things that I do that are contracted and I have to pay a little more taxes because they're not taken out of it. So we know how much we pay. Well, this guy proceeds to give her a fake badge number and tell her that he's going to have her put in prison because they found a discrepancy in our taxes between 2010 and 2015. Well, first of all, I'm sure that if the IRS contacted us, they would find a discrepancy in one of those years and have exact details of that when she called or when, when he called. So at this point, I've determined that this guy is fake and my wife says at that point she also had determined that this was fake and told him that she felt this was a scam. So she continued to push for what organization he was from and he would dance around the subject and eventually gave her the fake IRS badge number that I already mentioned. I've got the cheesy smile on my face because I'm trying not to show exactly what I wanted to do at the time. Hi. You stupid son of a bitch! So I'm just gonna smile and relax. She continued to say how she felt this was a scam. She would contact the IRS herself and find out exactly what this was regarding. At that point, he said, I'm going to have your local law enforcement come and arrest you right now. Another red flag, IRS didn't do that. My wife is one of the kindest, gentlest people you would ever meet and this guy then starts to attack her. She told me that he was very hard to understand. His accent was very thick. You could obviously tell he was not native to our country. Uh, possibly was not even here. The number was from California and he told her that he was in Los Angeles. While he was talking to her, she would try to say, this is a scam. I'm not gonna give you any information and she wanted to contact the IRS and find out exactly what he was talking about. Did he have a case number? Did he have any information? He didn't have anything. He just kept threatening to throw her in jail. And when she would talk to him, he said, ma'am, you better not interrupt me anymore. And she said, I will interrupt you. He goes, no, I'm gonna have you thrown in prison by your local law enforcement. She then said, you don't even know where I live. How would you find our local law enforcement? He said, call 911. Okay, if you're a government agent of the United States of America and the IRS, you're not going to call 911 to have someone arrested. You have your own agency that's going to do it for you. Then he proceeded to call her a criminal. And that's when she lost it and she felt horrible and then she called me crying. So of course my first inclination I am going to find you and I'm going to tell you how much of a cowardly mother Instead, I started contemplating, what should I do? How should I deal with this? The number, if I called it, would probably be a drop phone or some other fake phone. Then it hit me with this YouTube channel. Maybe I can give a little information on what these scam artists are doing. Tell some information I found on the IRS website. Yeah, irs.gov, not .com or some weird other fakey thing. And say exactly how this scam is working. And hopefully all of you will share this on your Facebook and your social media everywhere. So people all around the country in the United States, and I know I have a lot of followers in other countries, it won't affect them as much. But so they'll know how to deal with these people. So here's a few things that the IRS says about these phone scammers. The first thing they want you to know is that the IRS will never ask for credit card or debit card numbers over the phone in trying to collect a debt, especially not a prepaid debit card or a wire transfer. I mean, these people think we're that stupid. Next, they say if someone unexpectedly calls claiming to be an IRS agent and threatens police action, imprisonment, deportation, 
or license revocation, that that is one of the first signs that they are not an IRS agent. The director of the IRS says that the IRS is going to first reach out to you through the mail. So this is BS. Some of the characteristics you will see is the scammer will use a fake name and even give you a fake badge number of an IRS agent. And they're generally gonna use common names and common surnames to identify themselves. Now, these scammers may have gotten some information on you, and they may be able to tell you the last four digits of your social security number. That does not mean anything. That does not mean they're the IRS because they know those four numbers. There's plenty of places they can get that from. The internet's a crazy place. The scammers can also spoof phone numbers. So it may even, there's software out there that can spoof a number, could even possibly spoof the IRS call number. The number that called my wife was just some random Los Angeles phone number. Uh, but they will do that. So if they're in another country, they can use spoofing software to use a number that may look like the IRS to you. This didn't happen to us, but the website says that sometimes the scammers will hang up and then have someone else call to pretend to be someone for the local law enforcement. Best thing to do there is to contact your local law enforcement and see if that's true and contact the IRS. Now, a lot of this stuff didn't happen to my wife. She handled it fairly well. It's just, when, when you have someone that does this, they do it every day, all day, to, to innocent, fine, upstanding people who pay their taxes or pay their bills, they do it with, with bill collecting scams too. They'll threaten to throw you in jail. They'll schedule your process server. And guess what, process servers, they just show up. They don't make schedules. But if you do get this scam from the IRS, and I've seen it on the news, I've seen it in other you know, Facebook feeds where this has happened to somebody, they, they prey on the elderly, they, they prey on people who are scared to keep their reputation intact, and they'll throw them money just to get all this stuff erased. Don't do it, first of all. Just don't do it. The next thing you need to do is call the IRS at 1-800-829-1040. I'll put that number right here. The IRS employees on that line can help you with a payment issue if you think you do owe taxes. And they'll know from your file if you do or you don't. And typically will not call you. I, I would hope our IRS would not call you a criminal and threaten to have you thrown in jail because you owe some back taxes. Now, will the IRS throw you in jail for evading taxes? Absolutely. But. This is not what they're calling about. They're calling to say, hey, there was a discrepancy. You screwed up. I'm going to throw you in jail if you don't give me money right now. It's not how the IRS works. If you know you don't own ta owe taxes or you know you've paid your tax bill and you have proof and you have receipts and you have everything like we have, then your next step is to contact the Treasury Inspector General for Tax Administration or 1-800-336-4484 to report this incident because what they're doing is highly illegal. You can also file a complaint at the FTC Complaint Assistant. There's a link on the website. I'm going to put the link below uh, to this IRS website. It's from 2013, but it's the first thing that pops up with Google. There's a lot of other ones that pop up too, but it's, uh, I'm pretty sure all of this stuff still works, the links and everything. In fact, let me try real quick. Yes, the links still work. Thank God, because I would have looked really weird if he would have tried this. What I'm asking you to do is tell your friends and family, tell your husbands, your wives, your grandmother, your grandfather, your moms, your dads, about this scam and the bullshit that they're pulling off. Sorry I used the language, but this is bullshit and they're cowards. They're a bunch of asshats, that's what they are. And know all of the signs that this is a scam and be careful out there. Don't give somebody your credit card number, don't do a wire transfer, don't do a prepaid debit card. Who in their right mind would think that the IRS would say, hey, go get a prepaid debit card and then give me the number? No. Most of the time, they'll work out payments with you. I'm much calmer now. But wow. There are some just sick and twisted people in this world. They do very sick and twisted things. To good people. They're trying to do the right thing. And because they're trying to do the right thing, they feel that sense of guilt kick in and be like, oh my God, this is going to ruin me. And they give them the money. Don't do that. Until next time, keep your pipes loaded, slow down, philosophize, and enjoy your life. And don't let scammers get you either. Bunch of ass hats.